Hello everyone. When we last left off, we had a add.lang file, and then we added two numbers together, and then we printed them out. So as you can see here, we have an add.lang file. So when we do a.out on add.lang, it prints out the code for it. So equals a comma 10 equals b comma 15 plus c a b then print out a to the screen when we do a dot out uh, left arrow a dot ling add dot ling right arrow a dot mil and then do mil run a dot mil it prints out the correct answer of 25 so this time around, we're going to be using, uh, so we're going to expand on this and we, we are going to use the symbol table to catch errors. So as you can see here, here's all of the little symbol table files. You should be able to find all of these, this, the code for the symbol table by going into cs.ucr.edu at dtan004 click on project 3 and click the phase 3 example code and you should be able to find the symbol table in the example code so going back to the code the way we're going to do this first of all is we're going to create a little function header and then we're going to say func ident uh, dollar dollar equals dollar two uh, and we're going to say that the string uh, the function name is going to be equal to dollar two and then the first thing we're going to do is add the function to the symbol table so function name so what this does so what this piece of code does is that we grab the function name and then we add the function name to the symbol table so I'm going to just delete these two tokens and replace them with function header uh, this does not change the grammar in any way except it a lot it the only change I'm doing is that I'm shift reducing the is that when it hit when the poster sees the function keyword followed by an identifier it immediately shift reduces them at an earlier time rather than at a later time as a reminder bison is a bottom-up poster so it starts at the leaves and then it moves to the front and then it passes everything up into the program so I'm going to change the dollar signs appropriately so one two three four five okay one two three four five and then dollar sign two and don't forget to add the function header according uh, add the function type header into the program so if I did this correctly then I should be able to do a dot lang and it functions correctly so if I go back to the parser and at the very end of main I just print out the symbol table then yep it does print out that the function it prints out the function add prints out the function mole and prints out the function main so yep this is the it's printing out and correctly doing the symbol table stuff so in parser.y let's go back to parser.y so let's not just add functions to the symbol table let's add some variables to the symbol table so 
uh, we have int a, so this is a variable declaration. So in the variable declarations code, what you want to do is you want to get the variable name is equal to dollar two, and then I don't know variable name. Uh, Add variable name to the sim add variable to the symbol table. So variable name. And just like that, this piece of code should be able to add the, be able to add the functions to the symbol table. Yeah, I need to say that add the variable to the symbol table. I need to have integer. Uh, as you can see here, uh, there's a, uh, let me think, there's add ver an add variable to the symbol table. As you can see here, it has a string value and a type. A type is, it could either be an enum that is, it, it's an enum that can either be an array or an integer or an array type so based because the int a keyword is a integer type then therefore we add the integer type to the function call when calling the add variable to symbol table function call so make yep that does work uh, a dot out add dot length so we have function main, and then we add the local variables. So a, b, and c. And now we just have equals a comma 10 equals b comma 15 plus c, uh, plus c a b, and then print c. And that all works. So we got the, we got the variables inside the symbol table. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the symbol table to catch errors. So the first thing we're going to do is find duplicate variables. Like for example, if we have the case int a and then have int a, the symbol table should catch that you have duplicate variables and then throw an error and throw an error based off of that. So if we found duplicate variables, then we do if we find the variable name inside the symbol table, then we just yy error uh, Okay, uh, we're going to do yy error, uh, duplicate variables, yep, and just like that, that's going to be our little error. So if we found the variable twice, if we found the variable already inside the symbol table, then we report that this is a duplicate variable. So if I do a dot out add dot wing, it runs fine. But if I go back into the program and duplicate the a value and dot a dot out add dot wing, as you can see here, yep, uh, you could see that it does error duplicate variable. That's one error that you have to catch. Uh, next type of error that you should try and catch is you should try to catch if there's a print error if the if there's a if there's an error while if like there's an undeclared variable so if you cannot find the variable in the symbol table and you have not defined that variable then that should also be an error so in this case I guess 
We'll say that the variable name is dollar sign three. Variable name. We're gonna copy this code, but instead of saying whether it's a duplicate variable, we're gonna say not find. If we cannot find the variable in the symbol table, then it is an undeclared variable. Variable. Yeah. Let's do it like this. So if we make an a dot out on add dot line, there's an error duplicate variable. Uh, so if I tried to have an undeclared identifier cool in this case because and because cool is not defined, this should error on this case. So make uh, a dot out add dot length and as you can see error undeclared variable so it hit the cool it hit the cool and then it saw that that, that cool has not been declared has not been declared and uh, that then it reported that there's an error so that's the basics of how to catch errors for phase three uh, if you look at the phase three project, there are multiple errors that you need to catch. So for example, uh, there's gonna be using a variable without first having declared it and defining a variable more than once. I think that the rest of the errors should be around the same thing, uh, should be a uh, slight variation of what of one and four. So try and figure out the rest of the errors on your own, and I'll leave that as an exercise for you. Mm. So I guess this is all for the symbol table, using the symbol table to find errors. In the next video, I will go over how to do how to do loops.